Introducing how to enable overtime with Quantum POS. First, I'm going to go into the back office portal and go into settings. Then I'm going to search for a function called overtime. Now you can see an option has appeared. Here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toggle on my overtime. And then I'm going to set my regular hours. Regular hours means at what point in time does overtime kick in? Just for the example of the video, I'm going to set six. Now I'm going to go into my employee section and then go to an employee. Let's say Derek. Edit. And let's check out the role. Right now it looks like his hourly rate is zero, but let's go ahead and give him a rate. We're gonna say $10. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings. And there's an option here that says enable OT hour rate. I'm going to enable this. Now I'm also gonna go back to my information section here. And right now my hourly rate is 10, but I also need to select an overtime rate. I'm gonna say that it's gonna be 15. And then hit save. Now that I've enabled the settings and customized the employee, when they clock in and clock out, if at any point in time during the period, they work more than the hours designated, then it's going to show overtime pay. Let's take a look at, as, at an example. Report. Payroll report. Now here you can see John Doe, he works six hours with two hours of overtime. His regular hourly rate is $10, but his overtime rate is 15. As a result, his pay is 90 instead of 80. And that is how you enable overtime with Quantic POS.